You've definitely been hearing a lot about this country in the news lately, Ukraine. But today, I want to show you a different side of this country, here at the Dubai Expo. The Dubai Expo is a place where 192 countries in the world are coming together to show the best of their culture and nation. Each country has their own building called a pavilion, and today I'm taking you to the Ukrainian one. As you can see outside of the pavilion, there's quite a long line. That is because so many of the people here are coming in support of Ukraine. Right now, we are about to walk in. This is what it looks like inside. Here, you can take a selfie with President Zelensky. If you continue forward, you can see that there's a huge wall of solidarity with messages from all over the world. The message is very clear from visitors that they do not want war. From Syria to Serbia, it really feels like the whole world has come here. Here at the Dubai Expo, you get a passport like this that you can get stamped at every country's pavilion that you visit. This is the Ukrainian stamp. And you can even grab some Ukrainian-themed bracelets, a flag, and a sticker. Not to mention, many of the workers here are from Ukraine. You can get a real look at Ukrainian technology and see their vision for the future. Walking further into the pavilion, you can see the show going on. There is a second floor to this pavilion. You can see this beautiful artwork lit up in the colors of the Ukrainian flag, yellow and blue. This absolutely feels like a maze. I also came across this station where you can actually film a message of support to the Ukrainian people. Ukraina, держись, дорогая. Держись, мы с тобой. Ненечка наша, родная. Мы тебя любим очень-очень сильно. Я из Украины, я всю жизнь там прожила. Я там живу. И уезжать никуда не собираюсь. Это самое лучшее место на планете. Мы с тобой. Here at the Ukrainian Pavilion, you can really feel the international support for Ukraine during this time. Here at this pavilion, I was not only able to see the beauty of the land of Ukraine, but also the beauty of its people. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.